a little Q and A, and uh, it's Palace versus Leeds. I was wondering about Palace. I thought they'd get something at St James's Park midweek, but Wembley, then North East. Now they come home and play a Leeds side who basically their season started like five or six weeks ago under new management. But Palace are at plus 105. Trap for me, not a gift. Leeds at plus 250. Not so sure. I don't think they get beat, though. So I've got to be looking at Leeds. Do they score twice at plus 190? They got done here last year by, I think it was three or four. But they were the better side. How mad is that? I mean, this is the game where Bamford got called for offside by pointing. His fingers were offside. <laughs> Uh, it was like a disgrace. Um, let's start with you then, Stinch, so we'll save Mark O'Hare's voice. I, I don't see Leeds getting beat. I see Palace now. Maybe their season's finished. Yeah, I think you're absolutely spot on. I think we mentioned when we previewed Newcastle v Palace that after Palace's um, defeat at Wembley in the semi-final, perhaps that is the end of their season, probably quite down. You look at the, uh, the game against Newcastle, obviously a 1-0 defeat, but Newcastle allowed Palace a lot of the ball. Palace had 56% of the possession, but they didn't create anything. They just Their expected goals were just 0.68, and there was no sort of high-quality chances there at all. And you just kind of think, is that it now? You know, they're safe from relegation. We've praised Patrick Vieira a lot on this show, but I think it was Mark has rightly pointed out it. They don't actually win that many games. So, yeah, I wouldn't want to be back in Palace at plus 105 at all. Only reservation with Leeds, I've probably sound like a broken record. I just want Patrick Bamford to be in that team so I can confidently put my money behind them because I think they are I think they are probably too big a price here. I think that Palace probably should be closer to sort of maybe plus plus 120, plus 125, that sort of thing, which would make them similar in ability um, once you removed home advantage. Um, so yeah, that would also obviously bring in the Leeds team total at plus 190, which is quite attractive, I think. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just without Bamford. If Bamford was playing, yeah, I would happily I'd happily try and side with Leeds. Um, you know, Leeds plus a half, so Leeds double chance. That looks that looks quite tasty. Um, I think what Jesse Marsh has done since he's been in there has kind of um, just re-energised the the team and the squad. I think Bielsa is very stubborn. You, don't get me wrong, his methods. I'm I'm quite uh, an admirer of his methods and the way he goes about things. But I think it was obvious that they were picking up too many injuries and I think they needed to sort of calm down some of the training methods. And and uh, I think that's probably what Jesse Marsh has done. He's just come in and, and just changed a few things slightly. And, and Leeds are fine now and they will be fine again next season. Got no doubt about that. If obviously Bamford does get back to full fitness. I mean, imagine you said to, I don't know, um, perhaps Brentford that you'll be about Ivan Tony all season. You know, they'd be panicking like mad. So I think it's admirable that they've stayed up. So... Yeah, if we get Bamford back, I think we can get to be back in Leeds again because I don't believe that the, the the market is essentially going to revalue them. I think they will still continue to price Leeds as underdogs in, in matches. So I think next season we can definitely carry, we can definitely get Leeds back on side and carry on backing them again. OK, well, Black Mamba's saying that Palace win. Remember next week that I said that Palace win. Uh, Mark O'Hare, do you want me to save your voice or do you want to talk about this game? Uh, I was just going to repeat, similar to what you guys have said, I watched the first half of Palace's match against Newcastle on Wednesday and it was uh, very one-sided. Newcastle were all over them and uh, Patrick Vieira did make some changes and, and they came back in the second half. But um, yeah, you'd expect some sort of reaction at Selhurst Park, but we mentioned the fact that they don't win many Premier League games. Bizarrely, five of the eight Premier League games that they have won were against teams in the top eight. They've actually failed to win 14 of 17 games against teams in ninth and below this season. And they've only managed three clean sheets in that sample as well. So, you know, considering Leeds have now got Cooper and Phillips back in the squad, um, they've had more time to rest and refresh and prepare after what was a really busy winter. It's no major surprise to me that they've started to pick up points and improve their output as well. And we've said it time and time again, Leeds tend to get overrun by the bigger teams, the elite teams of the league. But against the teams outside of that top six, top eight, they are very competitive. They've only lost five of 21 games against sides in eighth and below, away from home, four wins, four draws and two defeats against teams in eighth and below as well. So, yeah, I, I completely agree. I think Leeds are very, can be very competitive and play above what the prices are suggesting they'll do, uh, but also like goals in this match as well. Um, I think over two and a half goals is, is slightly undervalued. Uh, you can get plus 100 on BTTS and over two and a half goals as well. Um, neither team I can sort of trust defensively, but, uh, you know, pressure off Palace now. Leeds still got something to play for. I think it's all set up to be quite an entertaining Monday night match. 
Yeah, Leeds plus 190 to score twice, by the way. Let's have a little look at the official picks because uh, I think a few of you in the chat are going my way. It's Leeds, double chance at minus 125. Uh, Leeds, double chance at minus 125. Okay.